So for now, let's forget about the projection ability and let's just talk about shapes. So what I'm gonna focus on now is these cones right over here. So you're gonna hover over this one. This is gonna be the primitive axis, which we're gonna to get to later. Uh, then we have primitive type, which is set to one. And then with primitive type set to one, we have this orange cone right here, which is a modifier set to 0.5. Now, the reason I bring up with this primitive type set to one, we only have one orange cone. If you change this primitive type to say two, the primitive doesn't change, but now we have two cones. We have a modifier, and another modifier. So we have an inside modifier and an outside modifier. But we'll go ahead and go back to primitive type one. And this is going to be a quadratic primitive. And what does that mean? Basically, we have it set to one, quadratic type primitive. And we have one slider, which the modifier is set right in the middle at 0.5. If I start dragging this inward, you're gonna see it's gonna start changing to a diamond. And you know what, let's hold down shift and we'll go back to 0.5 and we'll go ahead and scale this up so it's very large. And we don't have any interference from that underlying shape. Uh, so again, we're going to go back down to zero, and you're going to say it's going to. You're going to see it's going to crease those edges and turn into a diamond. And then if I pull outwards, it's going to crease those edges and turn into a rectangle. Now, what I want you to notice here is if I go to 0.5 here, we have a sphere. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit Shift S, and that's going to save a snapshot of this. And then if I go down to zero, I'm going to, you know, save another screenshot here. So we'll do Shift S. And if we go all the way back up to one, I'm gonna do shift S. Now we're looking at it from one angle over here. If I change, if I kinda of go to a three quarter view here, you're gonna see this way, from one angle, you're going from a circle to a square or a diamond shape to a square here. Now you're gonna see with this one cone, if I hold down shift, we're gonna go back to a circle. Now this circle is a circle on both sides. If I drag this up, it's gonna start creasing those edges so it's going to go kind of a soft turn all the way to a nice creased cube and it's square on both sides. If I go down to a diamond, it's a diamond from both angles right here. The only reason I bring this up is when we go to super quadratic, it's going to start mixing those together. But for now, no matter which way I turn this shape, it's always going to be a diamond. Or if I go over here and set this to one, it's always going to be a cube no matter which angle I'm approaching this from. Or if we go down to 0.5, it's always gonna be a sphere because of course a sphere is a sphere is a sphere. So now that we got that, we've gone ahead and reset this back. So we're printed to type one and we got our modifier set to 0.5. And again, we only have one modifier on primitive type one. If we switch this to primitive type two, now we have two cones. We have an inside modifier and an outside modifier. So. This inside modifier is set to 0.5. If I'm going to drag this down to zero, you're going to see it's going to start creasing those edges. Now, if I snap to one side and then snap to the other, what you're going to notice is now we have a rectangle from this view. So I'm going to do Shift S. And then if I switch to this view, we have a circle. So I'll do Shift S. We'll save that screenshot. So with this super quadratic, what we're doing when we go down from a modifier at 0.5 from a sphere all the way down here, we're getting a rectangle from this view and a circle from this view. So depending on the view you have, it's gonna kind of morph into half rectangle, half sphere, or I should say square and circle. If I take this top modifier and make that zero, now we're back to our cube again. And of course that's a cube from every angle. So let's set these both back to 0.5. So we're back to our sphere here. Let's take this all, both of these up to 0.1. So we'll take this first one here. And if we go up to 0.1, or we go out, take the bottom one all the way to one here, you're gonna see, okay, now we have a diamond from this view, so we'll do Shift S. If I go to the other view, now we have a circle. So we're kind of morphing between a diamond from one view and a circle from another. If we take this top one here, and we make this into one, now we're back to a diamond from every angle. So we'll do Shift S, and then you're gonna see from every angle we have a diamond. So between these two sliders and these two, all these values that you can interpolate between, you can come up with a bunch of different shapes or shapes that start having a fall off. This one starts to bulge a little bit into a sphere. This one starts to soften into kind of a cone shape here. And then if you keep going down, it's gonna go all the way to a diamond shape in this direction. So play with these settings to get the exact shape that you want. If you wanna to go to say a cube here, and then you start pulling this one out, you're gonna see those edges are gonna start softening into a circle from this angle. So let's go ahead and hold down shift. So we've got this one modifier at zero, the outside modifier at zero, and the inside modifier at 0.5. We have a perfect cylinder. We have a circle from this angle. So we'll go ahead and do 
shift S, and then from this angle, we have a rectangle, or a square, I should say, and those two shapes combined create a cylinder, and it's the same on both sides here. So if I take this outside modifier, it's going to start softening into a sphere at 0.5. And that's where we started. So primitive type 2, at both of these set to 0.5, we have a sphere. As I start changing this one, we can start turning it into a cylinder. And then as I change this one, we can start morphing it slowly into a cube or the other way into a box or a diamond from this view and a cube or a square from this view. So again, resetting this just to kind of see if I can explain it a little bit clearer. If we change both of these at 0.5 and we change this to primitive type 1, this only has one modifier and we're changing both axes at the same time. You can see both sides of this are going from square all the way to diamond. If we change this to primitive type 2 and we reset these back to 0.5 just holding down shift. Now we're having to deal with two axes here. As I start changing this one, it's going to start sharpening the corners to a diamond or to a rectangle. If I change this one here, it's going to go to a diamond or a rectangle but on opposite axes. And if we max them both out, we have diamonds on both sides here. And if we bring them both in, we have rectangle on both sides. But you can mix between them. You can start turning this one into a bit of a diamond, and then you can start turning this one into a bit of a diamond as well. But if you meet in the middle between both of those, it's going to make a perfect sphere. Or like we showed you before, you can start turning this one into a cylinder and then start morphing it out to a rectangle because you're going from round this way with pointy ends all the way out to a sphere and then rounding this way and then taking this modifier here and going from a circle to pointy diamond to rectangle. And just to reiterate, let's go ahead and hit control N so we can see this a little bit bigger. I'm going to take this outside one here and this outside one's always going to be a circle. It's going to go from a, if I go to this thing, angle here, it's a circle and it's a circle. It's always going to be a circle across this axis. However, when you go to this side, it's going to go from diamond to square, diamond to square. And if you go to the middle, of course, it's going to go back to a sphere. This inside one here is always going to go from square to diamond from this angle, and then from this angle, it's going to go circle to circle. So remember, let's go ahead and set that to 0.5. This one is a circle from this angle, and then this one is a circle from this angle as long as we have this set to zero or set to 0.5. So circle to circle from the front and then from this side circle to circle and then mixing those together will give you a circle result from this way and then a pointy result from that way or you can mix this circle with angles. You can see this one's going to go from diamond to square from this angle, it's going to go from square to square. So it's just mixing two different quadratic shapes from two different angles when you're on primitive type 2. And you're also going to notice it's, if we scale this down, it is still projecting that underlying geometry. You see that polarized cap from that rectangle is showing up on this object. So we are still projecting. If you don't want it to, of course, you can change this new surface to zero, and now it's just creating its own geometry. But we'll go ahead and leave that down at projection.